Hello, welcome to Sheepdog Says. I'm Sheepdog and I want to talk about a topic that I find fascinating because I just can't really figure out the solution to it. I talked about it on my blog, Sheepdog Writes. It's one of the last articles I actually wrote. Um, I, wrote I was reading about the, uh, I forget the name, the lab in America that's is it Boston Dynamics where they're building different robots and drones and stuff that can basically perform any task a human can do but a bit stronger and a bit better. Um, and I guess playing Detroit this past week with my wife now playing it and just generally looking around at stuff like that, it's it's only the world's only going one way. I mean, I keep so where I work, we we obviously work with a lot of different um, companies, and every now and again we hear about a major company we work with who's in retail or something like that going into administration because they're not making enough money and that's it, they've gone. Um, it, it seems to be happening constantly. If we look at Toys R Us, they're gone now. You know, Maplins are going. And certain other shops, you know, I look at places like PC World and HMV and places like that where you think, how are they eking out a living anymore, really, in this day and age? Because anyone who knows about music or games or PCs or whatever gets them on the internet. So I kind of feel like no matter what, no matter how we look at it, retail is pretty much dead, it's dying, it's not got long left, and people just aren't going to want to do it. Um, and if I was in that industry, if I was working in retail, I'd probably, in the short term, if I was looking for a similar level job, I'd probably want to start moving into something like delivery, because everyone's moving online, the only thing they need more of is delivery drivers. You know, it seems like an obvious switch, it's a quick switch, but I think their days are pretty much numbered as well. If I was to say that retail was going to die in 10 years, I'd say by 15 years we'd have all of delivery drivers replaced by drones and flying drones, driving drones, whatever. And it just seems mad because like taxi drivers, they'll be replaced by drones, driverless cars, that sort of thing. Um, everything just seems like it's going to take a massive, massive shift. And they're incredibly varied, busy industries that people work in. You know, you go on top of that and you think that like, Agriculture will probably get more and more automated as time goes on. You've got, um, I'm trying to think what else people do, lots of, lots of construction work has obviously been automated. They've got 3D printers that print buildings. You know, they've got 3D printers that print uh, toys and cars even and all sorts of stuff like that. What's even more insane is my cousin always said to me that you'd never be able to go without a chef, for example. Chefs are important. They know how to cut up parts. They you know, know how to butcher an animal. They know how to cook it. They know how to prepare it and so on and so forth. But I think even their days will be numbered within the next 25 plus years. Maybe not extremely, like to the furthest ends, but they've got 3D printers for food now. And I remember having this debate with, with Kev and some people I went to uni with where I was saying to them that, yes, it sounds disgusting first off to have a 3D printed burger. But when you taste it and they've managed to work it out right, there's already now technology that doesn't just sort of splurt out a burger and it just looks like a burger but it tastes of nothing. Their idea is that they're able to take whatever the parts of the burger are that taste the strongest and they're able to print that out so that it's all that, so that it's a perfect tasting burger that's got all the blended bits all the way through it. You know, if you're eating a cake, every slice of that cake will taste like the best bit of the cake, not the, you know, the... The middle of it and you're just trying to get to the good bits that's how precise they can do it they can already make stuff like they can already print stuff out and be like right i've made it so it's 100 percent flavor throughout and i kind of think i mean that'll get boring i mean it'd be weird if you could go to a vending machine and print out a perfect meal every time um and and that's the weird thing the more i think about this, this is the sort of topic that goes around in my head constantly um I'm a bit weird. I like the whole futurology thing that people look into on Reddit and places like that. And I mean, I made a list of all these other industries that I think are basically ruined. I've covered off shops. I feel like all the retail parks we have now, all over the world, all countries have retail parks. They're all going to become offices and shops and stuff, uh, offices and houses, sorry. And you're going to be living in like what used to be Toys R Us and things like that. I think in the short term, we're already seeing the effects of it. All the places around here that are shutting down are becoming like trampolining places and stuff like that. So you go there and you're entertained by jumping around on the trampoline. And I feel like that's going to be one of the booming things. Everyone's going to be wanting to be in like entertainment, but even then they can be manned by drones. You don't really need a, a human standing in a trampoline place while you jump up and down. You just need a medic on standby. People probably will always want doctors and stuff like that. But I feel like we're getting towards a point where we're not going to be able to pay people really because 
all these companies, like, it's a weird situation. All these companies are automating, 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 automating. But then they're laying off all their staff, but then they haven't got anyone they're going to be paying to buy their cars. Because if everyone's doing the same thing, no one's going to be earning anything. So we're in this really weird situation where we're all going to be pushed into weird outside jobs so we can afford to pay the people who run the companies. Um, but then they're not going to really have that much money coming out of it because everyone will be doing that. Everyone will be starting up their own manufacturing plant with cheap robots and stuff like that. So even the people at the top of that are starting to crumble away. It just seems bizarre. So in my mind, everyone will start looking towards entertainment and stuff like that. But even then, AI can create stories. AI can create art. AI can create all sorts of things. And I feel like already there's machines that are trying to find the perfect song. I mean, if you look around on YouTube, there are all these videos where people have got an AI to try and take the noises that people like the most, that gives them the heightened feelings, and then they've tried to turn that into a song that maximises the amount of feeling you get from it. Now, if you can do that with taste, and you can do that with sound, and you can do that with plots, if they can get an AI to analyse a plot and come up with the best plot in the world, you know, we're going to just... There's going to be, like, this brief period, which I genuinely believe will be in, like, our lifetime, where we'll all feel like, wow, I'm 60 years old, and I'm able to go to a machine and get the best ever food, and I can put the telly on, and it'll be the best ever show, and I'll put the radio on, and it'll be the best ever song. People are going to get well bored of that in like a year or two. Um, it ain't going to last long. There's going to be this whole peak, everything's perfect. And then we're all going to suddenly start realising that it just doesn't work. And I feel like the, the biggest market is going to be in these imperfect kind of shoddy, half assed attempts at stuff, which is where I come in. No, but um, <laughs> it just seems like people are going to be getting to this it's pushing and pushing and pushing to the point where everything will be sterile and it'll just be like uh, okay great i just ate the best meal of my life again like i had yesterday and i just listened to the best song ever like i did yesterday and you know i've just watched the best film ever um it just seems odd i feel like we'll all start going out more to to, to enjoy stuff i mean you look at just even more technology things that are making a difference um, one of the biggest restrictions on all of us at the moment is things like fuel to get places. I can't walk to America. Um, I can get on a plane and go there, but I have to pay a lot of money for the plane fuel. That's the most expensive part of getting on a plane. Um, you know, driving around while I'm there is, is expensive, but it's kind of like all oh, the biggest expenses come from the fuel. And once we've got that all nailed out with, I don't know, solar and wind and whatever type of thing they've got up their sleeve. It just seems, again, like there's not going to be a cost there. So most of this stuff's just going to be free. So all we seem to, I imagine we'll be doing is just traveling around, just looking at stuff. Um, and then I feel like, what's the point? Which is a bit narcissistic, is narcissistic the right word? Nihilist? That's probably what I'm thinking. Narcissist is when you steal stuff, innit? I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. Anyway, when you start thinking, what's the point? It's kind of like, are people just going to start getting dumber? Are people going to think, well, there's no point in me travelling the world or, or learning all this science stuff. There's machines already looking after us. I feel like we're going to become animals. It's just a weird... Uh, I'm just venting a train of thought here, but I feel like we're going to reach a point where, give it a couple of hundred, 300 years, 400 years, we'll be at a point where we don't need to learn, we don't need to know anything about health, we don't need to know how to cook clean or anything like that. We'll either be kept by robots or they'll have just decided to move on and do their own thing but then i wonder what the, what the hell they would see the point in doing because if you're this stronger benevolent absolute genius ai that knows everything where do you go from there so i don't know it's weird i've read lots of things in the past where people think that it'll all lead to our eventual destruction because something will just get bored and see what happens if they do this and I can almost see that happening. I can almost see a point. I remember Kev showing me a book where they said if you were God and you could do anything in the universe, the one thing you feel like you wouldn't be able to do was kill yourself. So that'd be the one thing you'd try and do. So they think that, so this book, it's written by the bloke who writes Dilbert called the, uh, oh, I can't even remember what it's called. I'll put it in the comments when I find it later. Um, but he says that, the whole universe is God coming back together because God suddenly thought to himself one day, I wonder if I can destroy myself, tried to do it, succeeded, but will fail because it will come back together. And that's what we're in the middle of, apparently, because everything that we're doing is connecting back together to itself. Um, it was a really interesting story, but it does make that question in my mind of if we had absolutely everything, if I knew I could get all the food I wanted, all the, all the everything, all the satisfaction I wanted, what would I do? 
if I was constantly satisfied, would I do anything? Um, and I just feel like if a robot can't feel satisfaction, what's its incentive for doing anything beyond what it does? So I don't know, it feels like we're in this funnel now where we're heading towards this point where we can't go any further. And I, don't, I just can't get my head around it. I'd love to hear people's thoughts on it because I, I, I hoped that talking straight for 10 minutes about it might lead me to a solution. But I guess it's quite a big question to be wondering about. Um, I mean, I already did a video on what happens when we die and what the meaning of life was and all that. I've covered that off like in episode 10. But I want to know what happens when we've basically nailed every single aspect. I can't think of a job that couldn't be just done by an AI to a perfect standard um, within, you know, quickly. And I think even when we've figured out, right, we all prefer imperfection and we all prefer it to be a little bit off, even then the AI will figure it out, surely. I want, you know, we'll get to a point where we want to watch a film where it's all going really well and then suddenly at one point or another out of nowhere it just goes rubbish. And we're just like, oh, oh okay. And then we'll all enjoy that because it'd be so cringy. But British people are already like that. We love terrible things. We love cringing at how bad something is. So... I feel like we're already ahead of that point as well. We, it, we can't win. I feel like we're all just going to end up tending to gardens or something until we just die of old age, which we won't do because robots will be looking after our every need and the second our hearts get a bit weaker, they'll come and they'll poke around with nanobots inside us to stitch it all together. We just can't go wrong. There's, it's, it, I feel like I'm in this weird conundrum of if I stay alive long enough, science will just keep us all going forever. But when it does... What are we going to do? Answers on a postcard, let me know. Um, also let me know if, if it was nihilistic, because I'm pretty sure it was, but I don't want to look it up, and I'll forget the second I stop recording. Um, I think that's the right word. Um, this isn't meant to be a depressing thing, by the way, because I also, part of me feels like it's not our problem, because whilst I believe strongly that science will keep us all alive a lot longer, I feel like there's probably only so much it can do for those of us who are already over a certain age. Um, and I'm only 32 at the moment, so I mean, I might not be above that age, but part of me thinks two, three hundred years, probably I won't be around by then, probably. Um, so I might not be around long enough to see when it gets really, really dire, but I reckon I'll be alive long enough to be telling people that in my day we had to make our own meals and we had to clean our own floors and... We had to go to the shops to buy things that didn't just appear before we even knew we wanted it. I mean, we've all heard that Amazon wants to try and predict what we buy now. Um, so, yeah, I think there'll be loads of potential. But we're, I love the fact we're going to see it all get more and more insane as we go along to the point where it'll just be like, your blood sugar went down by one point. So I thought I would give you this Tic Tac. And that'll be like a little machine. It'll just be feeding me Tic Tacs with all the nutrients I need in them or something crazy like that. Um, that will happen. I'm painting that idea. This is me painting it now. A little tic tac machine that just keeps you going throughout the day by monitoring all your levels and just plopping a tic tac in your mouth when when you need it. Because um, that again, that on its own, that would probably keep old people alive an extra thirty, forty years because they just wouldn't forget to eat and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going off on one. I just want to hear your thoughts at this point, really. Um, I did have a more concise. I wrote notes and everything, and I had a more concise way of saying it, but I got distracted. Um, before I started and then I've just gone off on this mad tangent but anyway subscribe comment like all that stuff let me know your thoughts let me know if you can think of anything that won't be beaten by AI androids or anything like that and I'll tell you in the comments why you're wrong thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow